All right, hey guys, what is going on? GI Geo Gamer here, and today we are back with a brand new video. And today we are going to be doing some Zerg versus Zerg action. Now, uh, today's video was supposed to be a um, Zerg versus Terran. I've played three, four matches today, um, trying to get a Zerg versus Terran, and they've all been ZVZ. And it's already five o'clock. Don't want to wait too much longer. Want to get this video out. So it's going to be a Zerg versus uh, Zerg, um, and there'll be a Zerg versus Terran out soon. So in this game, um, I feel like I played pretty well. Let's just go ahead and um, you know, let's go ahead and start watching what I do. So in a Zerg versus Zerg, I always take pool first in case they decide to do an early pool and cheese. You know, you saturate your main base and then you take your pool then you take your gas and then your hatchery always make sure you have that extra worker uh, so you're always max or all your ugh, you're always running 16 out of 16 workers um, that's you know you need to have that steady income uh, for minerals now head out at around 200 minerals send this little drone and he gets there just in time a little bit late pretty much just in time to go ahead and throw down that hatchery now my opponent is doing a standard hatchery uh, pool gas or a hatch gas pool whatever you want to call it and uh, of course I didn't know this yet at the time so we're just playing you know standard standard builds pretty much droning up um, now uh, I did go ahead and take my gas I maxed out my gas now in this game and I've been doing this a lot recently especially in Zerg versus Zerg I skip um, link speed um, I just personally I don't know. I don't. I don't use it very often, unless it's like a Ling Bane War or a Ling Bane Muta. Um, I just personally don't use it too much. Um, so I did go ahead and skip it in this game. Uh, in this game, I actually sub supply blocked myself quite a bit. Um, that was probably my weakest part in this game. My injects weren't perfect, you know, but they were pretty decent. Um, but I don't know. It was still a really good game, so I figured I'd go ahead and share it with you guys. Uh, so. You know, start off my first queen. Um, my second hatch is about to finish up. Um, current workers, 22 to 21, not that big of a deal. Um, he throws down, because he scouts, alright? He scouted that my hatch wasn't done. So he actually went ahead and threw down um, a spine crawler in each base, which, you know, could be a smart decision. However, you already had your spawning pool done you should have just made you know four links two links just to be able to defend if i was doing a uh, zergling rush cheese uh now as you can see because of that i'm already ahead in supply i have you know only one more worker than him but still he's wasted those two two workers and they aren't they aren't going to do anything for him i throw down my roach warren and my double evo chamber this is pretty much what i always do i just throw them all down at once usually around the three minute mark he throws down his um, Roach Warren as well, starts up uh, plus one ranged. Uh, I actually go ahead and grab uh, Pneumatize Carapace, um, which is uh, Overlord Speed, uh, which actually really helps me because this Overlord right here, um, actually I was able to scout his natural later on. So, um, you know, standard stuff, I go ahead and take my second gas. We're still just making a ton of drones, that's all we're doing. He takes his other gas as well. And uh, I start up plus one ranged uh, a little bit after him, um, and then you know I'm just I've, this game I focused <coughs> excuse me a lot on just spending my resources, uh, and that's really what I focused on you know as much as I could. Uh, so again, we're making drones. He makes two more spine crawlers in each of his base. I scout that and see that he's still worried about a zergling rush. So what I actually went ahead and did is I made a couple roaches. Um, because I knew, you know, he's playing really defensive. If he's if he's that scared of a zergling rush, maybe he'll try and do something stupid and try to all in. Um, so I go ahead and take two more gases as well. Uh, I believe I start up my third here pretty soon. Again, just running those injects. I'm really good at injects early on in the game, but once it gets to the point where I'm running multiple bases, um, it's I just I'm not very efficient at it. So I usually just ignore them, which is bad. Uh, I did go ahead and gra grab a uh, creep queen. There we go, start up my third hatchery, um, and I scout him starting his third hatchery, we start at the same time, so pretty much at this point in the game, already I had the advantage. It's I have three more workers than him, 
I have four roaches, I have an extra overlord, and he has a lot of larvae. He was not spending his larvae. He has a ton of extra gas, and so we start our thirds at the same time, but realistically I am in the lead at this point. Um, I believe I go ahead and grab, yep, plus one armor right here, and just make a ton more drones. I was droning, droning, droning. I do go ahead and grab roach speed. Um, because, you know, my lair was done way earlier. I always do an early lair. I don't even know if he's started his lair. Um, let's go ahead and have a look. Alright, so that looks like that just mutated. No. So he didn't even have a lair at this point. Um, which is kind of strange. Uh, again, he makes a couple more drones. He's making a lot of roaches. He's really worried that I'm going to attack him. When realistically, <laughs> I'm not. He saw that uh, queen push away that overlord and he immediately just made a bunch of roaches. Now, I figured, you know, maybe I'll go for a little bit of a sneak attack, hit up around the northeast corner and down into his third. Uh, so I start moving out across the map. Plus one attack finishes. I start up plus two already. Only five minutes and 45 seconds into the game. Plus two is on the way. Uh, plus one armor still chugging away. I took that pretty late, um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I do go ahead and take my Hydra Den right now, and alright, so I go to push into his base, and I see this, I immediately pull back. Um, I don't know, and I make a bunch of roaches. Um, I still have the supply lead, and I feel like this was a smart decision, but this is where things get really interesting, okay? Uh, check this out, right? He backs out his roaches right in to my army. I just pursued him all the way up. And he managed to snipe down his roaches till he only had three left. So he throws down another two spine crawlers, makes 11 roaches. If we go ahead and look at the worker count, it's 47 to 36. He's just making as many roaches as he can. I start making roaches to support. Plus one armor is about to finish, and what amazing timing, because we are about to push into his base. I start up my hydra production, you know, six hydra lists. Uh, I do also make a couple zerglings in this army composition just to uh, tank the roaches. Uh, because I had the extra minerals, so, you know, why not? Uh, so I do push into here, alright, I do some damage back out. Uh, wanna, you know, get the best engagement I can. Snipe down that spine crawler, a bunch of his roaches. Um, and as he, you know, he had 11 roaches on the way, so this is where it got kind of scary. I managed to get the queen, I sniped down the spine crawler and that roach, a couple drones, and then I backed out. I knew I couldn't take that, I knew the army value was currently... You know, not in his favor, but he had way more right here. But right here, I just I do decide to turn around and take it. Um, because we, you know, we were pretty equal. I had, you know, uh, ro uh, Hydra's coming in from behind. Again, that um, Ravager just had the gas. It was a damaged Roach. You know, he started off with full HP again. And so right here, a super small army. We were just focus firing each other down. But at this point, I do back out. But look at my army, right? I have 14 links, 3 Ravager, uh, three Hydras, 3 Roaches on the way. Plus 2, plus 2 is on its way. Plus 2 range is about to be done. But then I continue to drone. I continue to drone. He makes 11 Roaches again. I start up my gases. I want to be able to, you know, support this army. But if we look at the units, it's 48 to 34 drones. There is no way at all uh, that he can, you know, that he can go ahead and out produce me like my army is way bigger sure he throws down another spine crawler he throws down his hydra den he's morphing into ravagers he just now started plus two range mine's already done uh we go ahead and push in snipe that spine crawler uh do some damage to the hatch um he has a ton of roaches i was a little bit worried here i'm not gonna lie i believe i actually back out of this engagement yeah uh, that was a really scary engagement uh but again eight roaches on the way i have the resources for it running my inject so i had the larva Again, he probably has 15 larvae. He's not spending right now. I have two. You know, you can't have 15 larvae just not to use. Again, I spend all my larvae. He still has eight. He cannot support all of his larvae. Uh, I throw down my infestation pick, so I was going to go for a hive, get plus three, plus three. 16 lings on the way. You know, I'm pretty much about to all in this guy. You know, just spending all my uh, resources in army value. Go ahead and push in, snipe the queen off his third base, and uh, get his third hatchery down. Again, he just now started Roach Speed as well, and uh, Zerg units move fast even on enemy creep. So I have Roach Speed, plus I'm on his creep, so I'm basically flying around the map while he's just kind of stuttering around. Again, just maxing out as many troops as I can. Another 10 Roaches on the way, but, you know, it's a plus 2, plus 2 versus a plus 1, plus 1. He really didn't have that much of a chance, let's be real. Um, 
his economy again, 48 to 23. He he really, you know, at this point, I knew it was a good game. Uh, I was just, you know, cranking out as much uh, stuff as I could. But again, once once you know the game is yours, he calls GG right here. Once you know the game is yours, don't stop playing. Keep those injects going. Keep, you know, those upgrades because you never know if your opponent may be able to turn it around. And if he can, and you've just been sitting there, you know, letting your resources mess up, you know, you're kind of going to be screwed. You really need to make sure you always keep that up. This game was actually uh, pretty amazing, I'm not going to lie. Um, it was like a, what was it, 850 game? And if we go ahead and look at... If we go ahead and look at this, uh, as you can see, a 200 uh, 950 actually, 207 APM. I played really well that game. Again, I supply capped a lot, but I, you know, I had a pretty good average unspent resources, made a good amount of workers. And if we look at this, if you look at the unspent resources, he always had double my resources, average, which would be a good thing, except that means he always had them just sitting in his bank. And so, if we look at the army value, right, other than in the beginning when he made all those roaches. Overall, on average, I have way more units than him. You know, more units, more units, way more units. If we go ahead and look at the resource collection rate, I'm always collecting more resources than him. The upgrade spending, I always have my upgrades faster, and I always have more workers. You might ask, how is that possible? Spend your resources, spend your larvae. Get those drones out, get those troops out, because, you know, if you just have those larvae sitting there and the minerals or the resources in your bank, that's doing nothing for you. Those could be drones out gathering you more resources, could be troops just adding to your overall overall army. So it really is important. Make sure you're spending all of those resources. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe down below as always, and I will definitely see you in the next one.